Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I want to talk to you about the U.S. Navy Charge Book. I'm going to tell you a brief history, I'm going to tell you some of the folklore revolving around it, and then I'm going to show you my charge book, or at least portions of it. And there's a writing that I did when I made Chief that's inside my charge book, and I'm going to read that to you. So the U.S. Navy has this tradition of when you make chief, you have a charge book. Now the purpose of this charge book kind of goes back a little bit uh, to the, the older days of the Navy. And it's kind of rooted uh, around World War II where some of the chiefs would task their first class petty officers who were eligible to advance with taking notes. And some of it was professional notes, some of it was technical data, some of it was just words of wisdom, but the first class petty officers were supposed to put these notes in, into this book that they carried with them. And, and it was called a charge, and hence the name charge book uh, originated from that. Now it wasn't until uh, later on, much later on actually, that the charge book evolved into what I'm gonna show you, um, and that's a keepsake. The purpose of the charge book now or at least when I went through the induction process for Chief Petty Officer, is to store knowledge, to words of wisdom, and uh, a lot of the chiefs like to call them pearls, where they'll offer a pearl. Another aspect of this is some of the commands weren't very big. Uh, there weren't that many chiefs, you know, depending on the on the size of the command, say the command that I was in when I made chief, there was about 250 personnel total. So we had 12 chiefs and it's very easy to get to know 12 people. Some of the larger commands uh, back in the day, thousands of people in the command and you could have two, 300 chiefs in that command and some of them you, you just could never meet all of the chiefs. So that was another reason for the charge book, is it gave a place for each one of those chiefs to write down what it is that they want to tell the prospective chief petty officer, what knowledge they wanted to pass on and so on. Like I said, brief history of the charge book. Now I made chief petty officer in 2003. Uh, I don't know if the process has changed much since I've gotten out of the military in 2009, but I know that I'm real proud of my charge book, and I'm going to show that to you and kind of explain a couple of things real quick. We were directed, I say we, when I made chief, there were three of us in my command that made chief at the same time, and that is represented by, you see, three diamonds here in the middle of that stripe. Each one of those diamonds is supposed to represent one of us, uh, one of the sailors that made chief during this cycle, this initiation cycle. You'll also notice that we have the chief's anchor up in the top left hand corner. In the lower right hand corner, you'll notice the first insignia there is a enlisted aviation warfare specialist pin. And uh, I was an enlisted aviation warfare specialist. The second uh, emblem there is the AD rating badge. That's a, a winged propeller. An AD is a jet engine mechanic in, in layman's terms. So uh, that's what I did in the military. And of course, you can see I have my name on there, VFA 102 Diamondbacks, and 16 September 2003. And that is the date that I was advanced to Chief Petty Officer in the Navy. These books are not given to us. We are actually tasked with building this, this box, this keepsake item, to put our notebook in, our charge book. And the directions for these books are generally pretty vague, and they do that on purpose. One of the reasons is they want the selectees to think outside the box. Uh, it gives you a chance to show the rest of the chief's mess what it is you're capable of doing. So when we made chief, the three of us sat down and uh, tried to figure out what it was that we wanted to build. That was not easy because we have three different people and three different ideas. The wood on the cover, this is cherry. The wood on the back is also cherry. But you'll notice 
the wood here in the middle this is coca bola it is a very heavy dense wood and and when i say dense uh, i actually broke one of the brass screws trying to uh put it into this wood when when we were putting this book together and uh, we actually had to drill pilot holes for the screws to go into because that wood is just that dense now another thing that i wanted to show you is on the back you'll notice that that is the aft end or the tail end of an f-18 super hornet this is from our squadron the diamondbacks you can see the the emblem on the tail for the three of us the we when we went somewhere together and we went together a lot during this induction process we would display our books stacked side by side and it would make the complete airplane and that was to show pride in our command and our squadron and of course all the names that you see down here these are the names the first names of all the chiefs that we had in our command me being an ad or a jet engine mechanic i ended up with the engines so that's why i got that portion on my book one of the other guys he was an ordnance man so he ended up with the wing section which had the ordnance on it and then the third guy he was a ame he worked on the ejection seats and the canopies and the, the life support systems in the aircraft so obviously the canopy is on the front of the airplane so i mean that worked out really well that uh, one would have the canopy, one would have the wing section, and I ended up with the engines. Uh, like I said, we put the three books together, and uh, they, they made the FA-18 Super Hornet from the VFA-102 Diamond, VFA Diamondbacks. It also meant to represent that we are stronger together than we are as just one. I want to read something to you. I was tasked with writing this paper when I made Chief, and... I'm going to read that to you. What it means to advance to the exalted position of Chief Petty Officer. Now remember, this is my writing, these are my words. Being advanced to the exalted position of Chief Petty Officer is one of the biggest steps that a person can take in their naval career. This is something that I have worked many long hours and strived hard to achieve. Everything that I have done in my naval career has helped me get to this point but little has prepared me for what lay ahead. In the past, I have worked for the chief. I have drawn from the vast knowledge and wisdom that was provided to assist in making the correct decisions. It was through the guidance of the chief that I learned how to be a good sailor and a leader. Now the opposite will be true. I will work for the blue shirt. I will provide the guidance and leadership to allow them to make the proper decisions. They will look to me for this insight and all of life's questions, as I once did with my chief. They will expect that I will not lead them astray, but that I will provide them with the proper information in a timely manner that will assist in their development and growth professionally, mentally, and personally. It is now my job to challenge their minds and bodies to be the best that they can be. It's now my responsibility to ensure that they are following the rules and regulations in all that they do. I will correct them when they are wrong and counsel them on what they did and need to improve. I will praise them for a job well done and I will give them the recognition they deserve. I must look out for their well-being and stand up for them. When they might be down, I will be their guardian when needed and their mentor always. I will make myself available 24 hours a day to assist with any of their problems. Above all, I will lead by example and I will teach them everything I know for they are the future of our great Navy. ADC AW Select, Edward Hatmaker. So, um, I thought that was kind of cool that they had tasked us with this writing and uh, I actually remember sitting in the barracks doing this one night uh, after a very long day with a lot of things going on, a lot of taskings. Um, making chief is, is a, a very big deal. It's, uh, it's a tough thing to go through, but so rewarding. So anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed taking a, a quick peek at my charge book, finding out a little bit of the history uh, behind it. And if you're curious, you can go to the goatlocker.org and there is a much 
more detailed history of the charge book and it kind of explains a little bit more than what I did. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, have a really, really great day. God bless each and every one of you. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.